If you watched my channel last week, you already saw my Dollar Tree shop with me, which was pretty cool because they had a lot of new things for spring and Easter. So I made sure to head over to the Target Dollar Spot, which is what I'm gonna show you today. So I have a little shop with me, plus a little bitty tiny haul at the end. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. It is a shop with me in haul time. I normally do educational activities for kids, ideas and inspirations to learn through play, but have to mix it up with some hauls too because that's where I get a lot of the things that I do with my children. So like I said before, I already did the Dollar Tree. Go back and watch that video. Lots of good stuff over there right now. And today we are going to do a shop with me at Target. Plus I have a little bit of a haul at the end, so be sure to watch that too. I'm gonna go through things really, really quick. I first off, saw this kaleidoscope kit which is new to me if you have this let me know down below if you like it it looked really interesting I had everything you needed to make your own kaleidoscope also really big right now are the dr. Seuss items we did just recently have dr. Seuss's birthday but a little tip from me to you is that most of these items come around once in a while so if you miss out now you'll definitely see it again and then you might even find some clearance here in a few weeks definitely worth checking out I did see some new items and some old items the old items are these little sticker activity books which I think are really cute because they are based off each one of the Dr. Seuss stories. I think that these hats are actually a new item. I don't recall seeing these before, but they're really cute in case you want to get them for a whole entire classroom. And these bags also looked new too, different styles than I've seen before. I do have to say these are repeat spring items as well, but they're in a different kind of style. I think they had the rock pets that were ladybugs last year. I ended up getting the turtles, which we really, really did like. And then they had these little bug dig activity kits where you basically look for the hidden item inside. These stencil kits were also a repeat from last year. We put them in our Easter baskets and they were a huge hit. But these little stationery sets are new. I thought they were adorable. They had all kinds of little fun things in there. And of course, the erasers. There are always erasers at the Target dollar spot. Once again, cute little gifts. I thought these little stamp sets were pretty cute. They had several different styles. And of course, the unicorns are super, super popular right now. So if you have someone in your family likes unicorns, they are gonna love these. And they even had these 3D unicorn erasers, which I thought were pretty fun, as well as a mermaid cat eraser. Yes, a mermaid cat unicorn eraser. I didn't really understand it either, but it seemed pretty cute and cool. So if you like cats and mermaids and unicorns, then you might want to get that. I found these little change purses or pencil cases. You could store all kinds of fun things in here and each one had a little bit different theme on it. This one, Believe in Magic with the unicorn. This one had totally 100% unicorn and this one had Can't Touch This with a cactus. I remember these wooden eggs from last year that kind of have a Waldorf inspired theme to them and they always have the Easter eggs. These I think are a little bit new too. You can color your own and they already have pre-made designs or you can get the colored ones or the plain ones. The bunny tails, they seem like they recycled the snowballs from Christmas, but this time they also brought out some colored ones, so I don't know about those. And these little canvases are a lot of fun because they come with the pre-printed canvas, so you can paint right on it, the paint, and some stickers, and a little tiny paintbrush, all for $3. I think that's really, really fun. I did see several styles of these too, so you might want to get one of each if your child really likes that kind of thing. These felt decorating kits were around Christmas too, and now I see them in Easter themes an a Easter bunny and an Easter egg, a really simple, easy craft that even probably a toddler can do with you. And they do have those grow with me animals. You usually see these at Dollar Tree. I'm not quite sure what you do with them after you grow them, but they are kind of fun to watch. Would make a really great Easter basket stuffer. The shrink art kits were a hit and a past Target Dollar Tree toy test. So I definitely would recommend these. They come with the little markers and the little shrink material and you can put them right in your oven. They work great. I will have to say that Target is really upping the game on really fun things like these dry erase boards. This one was clear and it had a little inspirational message. This one had the days of the week so you can put on calendar event items. I thought it was super cute. It also comes with a pen that has an eraser top. And then the planners, they had a couple selections of planners. I feel like our selection at my store is a little bit picked over, but for $5, that's a pretty good deal if you kind of like the planning thing. These were around the past couple years. They are a sewing kit to make your your own chick. They come with everything inside that you need. Another great Easter basket filler for those kids that like to do crafty things. 
The stepping stones are back too, but they're a little bit different. This one has a little bit of a bug pattern. I saw a dinosaur pattern. And of course, every year they seem to have a butterfly pattern. Very cute. You can also stock up on chalk. This is a very big item right now. They're a little bit more expensive here at Target than they are over at Dollar Tree. So keep an eye out at Dollar Tree for chalk. These are a steal for a dollar. They are wooden superheroes and princesses and firefighters and they pose. You can move the arms and legs. I thought these were super cute. If you have a wooden toy or block set, you can add those right to them. And also these little cars, which were adorable. So I see a couple different race car styles and police cars, and these would be perfect perfect for a toddler or preschool Easter basket too. Last year I tried this Hydro Super Sand and it was okay. It was a little bit messy. I don't even remember what we ended up doing with it. They did have these last year too, the Magic Putty, and then they also had a slime kit and another one that I didn't see, but maybe they're around at some Target stores. If you've tried these, let me know your experience with them. I'm really, really curious to see if they are worth the money. There are new wooden sets too. This one is a slingshot. It comes on a little canvas tote and a wooden slingshot on the back. I also found a tic-tac-toe one that you can paint your own. I thought that was adorable. And a beauty school kit with a little beauty parlor kind of items that are all made out of wood. This one was have to be my favorite though. It's the bowling set. Look how cute these little bowling pins are and it comes with two balls to play. Love this one. Another favorite for the younger crowd is a wooden lacing bunny. It comes with the laces and the wooden shape and you just lace them up. Talk about something super cute. These little paint your own pots are adorable. They come with the paint. Some have designs, some don't. And I found the stacking bunny. How cute is this? Perfect toddler Easter basket stuffer and they even had something for babies in your life. This was a super cute little gift. I'm not so sure about these little poppers. I saw some of these over at Dollar Tree the other day. So it seems to be this is kind Kind of the thing going around right now fun designs not sure if i actually would want that in my house but i'll let you guys decide if you want one i like how they're packaging the excavation kits right now in these little wooden boxes just makes it a lot cuter than just the plastic packaging and of course i know a lot of you out there love using erasers for manipulatives and your activities with your kids so they have bigger sets now and a different variety so these are kind of fun i like them and on my way out, I happened to find some magnets that were different than before, mostly Easter theme, spring theme, unicorn theme, and of course some space that I really like. So like I said, I have a really, really small haul to show you. This is a sticker activity set. There are stickers on one side and on the back, there's a bunny. So all you need to do is decorate the bunny for just a dollar. This is a quick and easy pull out whenever I need it kind of activity. Love that. And just like that Easter bunny sticker kit, this one is an egg decorating kit. So you have the stickers on the front to decorate your egg on the back. Once again, real simple, real easy, just kind of a grab and go let's do this kind of activity and that's what I love about it. This is going into an Easter basket. These are ring stampers. I'm gonna actually open the package and divide them out between my children. So they're rings that you wear, you can take them off and you can stamp with them. I thought that was super, super interesting. Probably a really cheap throwaway toy. These probably won't last very long, but for one day on Easter, this will keep them entertained for at least a little bit. Next were these really cute sun catcher kits. I thought these were adorable. Normally you can get maybe two or three of these sun catchers for a dollar at Dollar Tree, but these are Easter themed, so I kind of splurging on them. There's one in here, it's a little Easter bunny, it comes with a little paintbrush and the paints to do the painting with and a little string to hang it up. And there's one over here that is a chick. So we have those little hooks from Dollar Tree and we place these on our door in our kitchen. That's a glass door and we can see the sun come through. This is an activity book, which I'm kind of, you know, up to my ears in activity books right now, but this one is Easter themed and it's definitely gonna be a great little um, Easter basket find and it has a whole bunch of activities in it that they can do for Easter. This one was a dollar and then this one was also a dollar, just a little bit different, but I think the games inside are pretty much the same. So what are you loving at the Target Dollar Spot right now? Let me know. I always love to hear your comments. It's one of my favorite parts of YouTube. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.